the grays. We used all those uh, girls to make the grays. Uh, we impregnate them when they're the host when they're 15 mm-hmm. or 13, and right. the first uh, fetus they have is a replacement for themselves. And then we impregnate them when they're 14, and that's a, another fetus we use to make the grays. And there were uh, on top of the life support systems of every one of these beds was a huge glass jar with a fetus in it hooked up to life support. I go, what's that fetus up there? Well, that's the second one. I go, okay, tell me more. And they said, well, the third one, we pregnant them when they're 15, and uh, we take and we hook this uh, tube up to its uh, brain, and we do what we call a phlebotomy. And I said, what's a phlebotomy? They said, fully linked android brain. We pump in Teutonium, which I've verified is a radioactive material, diseases, viruses, cancers, and heavy metals. And they attach to their, you know, at a nanotechnology level, all the proteins, and they're making circuit boards. And then at three months, we harvest the grapes. I said, why at three months? Well, if we waited any longer, it would start to eat its way out, and both the host and the gray would die. I go, really? Tell me more. They said, so we, we cut them out, and then we grow. And um, I said, oh, by the way, you said that you, um, when you want to take a level out, you gas the floor. Where's the controls for that? And these guys were stupid enough to show it to me. They had two of the scientists put in a key, and they turned it simultaneously, and then they had, and they turned it. Yeah. And they had sublevels 1.1 to 21.1. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, that's a gas controls? Oh, wow, pretty cool. Show me more and tell me more. And these guys are looking at each other like, oh, wow. Um, you know, okay, you, you don't have a problem with that? No, I don't have a problem with that right now. So then we went to the back of the facility, all the way across there. I mean, keep in mind, this is a mile diameter round mm. unit. Jeez. And it was full as many beds as you can put in there. And as I'm walking by, you're seeing they got, and the reason they got the host, I'll call them the little girl, yeah. hooked mm-hmm. to life support is they're dying while they're producing this, what starts out as a human fetus, mm-hmm. um, to, to turn into one of these graves. Wow. So the, the graves are victims too. Really? And, um, oh, and let me back up. Um, I remember when I was 10 years old that one of the grays that was like at Roswell. It might have been the one that lived. I don't know because they look different now than they looked then. And if you have any of the pictures that James Caspel has of Roswell crash, have you seen those? Yes. And isn't that gray much stockier than the little yeah. ones you see now? Yeah. Yeah. Eating, eating pretty good That's in the neighborhood, yeah. They, uh, they took me up in my parents' bedroom, and uh, there was one there, and it was talking to me. And, you know, those voice sensitizers for people that don't have vocal cords anymore from cancer? Right. Yeah, sure. It sounded like Kennedy's, and it was this evil, deep, crackly voice. I don't remember what it said, but, you know, they had one of those there. Mm -hmm. And I was told that's one of the pre-flood ones. And these might have even come from Mars. Mars might have been a, a, a world that Satan encouraged to be destroyed. And you have to keep in mind that all of this is con- involved heavily with devil worship, big time. Yeah. Have you had any guests on that are saying similar things to as to what I'm saying? Uh, well, you're you're describing um, uh, a facility that we had a guest on named Hannah Billups said she was taken to an underground military base and she said there were children there and her whole. Uh, her whole reason for being on it, and she was crying during an interview, saying that they were doing horrible things to these children. And I, so that uh, synchronicity, or I mean, you know, yeah. Well, so, yeah. I, I was told I, when when they told me about you can have sex with these girls or clones, and I says, does anybody else come down here and have sex with? Oh yeah, quite a few people. Oh, you mean like quite a few Illuminati, Jesuits, Mafia. CIA, and, 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 but let me interject. There's about 10% of the mafia who are decent people, and they're not involved in any of this crap. Okay. You know, 
Okay. Um, okay, so yeah, the mafia can be can be nice too. Then what you're saying when they're not killing people? About ten percent of them, yes. Okay, they're just you know through uh, the families and mm-hmm. whatnot. Now you remember all those mafia guys who got arrested in New York, New Jersey, and Sicily, February seventh and eighth. Yeah, and you can't see anything on the internet. Right. Yeah. It just, it just, it just, it's, yeah. Just like the the story went away. Well, see what happened was. The Jesuits in, the, in Europe, the Mafia guys, the Bushes, the Clintons, and the McCains had knowledge of, if not were, party two, tried to have a number of people killed to jumpstart the tribulation. And I'm not wow. going to tell you who those people are. Mm-hmm. Um, but they were trying, they were trying to jumpstart the tribulation. And if anybody watched Larry King last night, he had on, uh, mm-hmm. all these Air Force scientists talking yeah. about, you know, UFOs right. controlling missiles. On the yeah. ground. Yeah, I saw that. They're like they're they're building up this phony false invasion scenario so that they can take power. Um, and uh, last Sunday they had a repeat of what they did in Crawford, Texas, and they're trying to whip up and instill fear of these things. Now these things are biologic weapons. If you were to cut one, or it was to scratch, or to bite you, you're going to die a more painful and quicker death than the Komodo dragon. If you shoot one or cut it open, you just released a biologic weapon. I mean, they have to wear these elaborate respirators when they're around people because if you breathe too much of the air that they breathe, Mm -hmm. you're probably going to catch a disease and die. Wow. Yes. Okay. So they took me back to the nursery unit, and we had to put in earplugs and these elaborate ear protection Muffs over us. Mm-hmm. And if we, I said, why are we putting these on? I says, because if you were to walk in there with no ear protection, it burst your eardrums. And you go in there. And what, what made me remember this, you remember Lieutenant Colonel S.C., which you had on your show a number of times. Right. Colonel S.C., certainly. Mm-hmm. And James Caspel. Right. What I did was, is, uh, I contacted everyone, emailed everyone on the George Norris show, Coast to Coast, who had to do with mind control. And James Caspel was the only one that would correspond with me. And we corresponded for two weeks. And I told him, well, the government's tried to kill me 13 times so far this year. This was like three months ago. I don't know the exact date. Well, wait, wait, wait a minute, and, Eugene. They, they tried to kill you 13 times. Or is the government that stupid? They just can't, they, they just can't carry it out or what? Every time I went into combat, I did incredible things. And, I'm, and God protected me every time. And these guys knew that. So they put me at front, in the middle, or if there was a situation and they wanted me to kill more people than anyone else or wipe out, assassinate this one or that one, they'd send me in. Because one of the euphemisms they had for me was they called me God because God protected me. They said, oh, if we want somebody to do the, the dirty deed, let's, let's let God do it. And you see, everyone with a spiritual gift in the world, uh, and God has miraculously saved you, or you've got a gift of inspiration or whatever, they put you on a watch list, and they really? watch you for the rest of your life. Really? Because, oh, yeah, big time. In fact, I have a uh, Messianic Jewish friend who I've seen her get inspiration from mm-hmm. God, and it's real. All right. And three months ago, they were poisoning both of us to where we could not uh, – Maintain short-term memory, and it was mm-hmm. difficult even talking for six mm-hmm. weeks. And I found right. out they were poisoning. I haven't been able to find out what they were poisoning us with, but God protected us. I wake up constantly. In fact, I got a needle mark in my shoulder from last night and some scratches wow. on my back. Wow. I have constantly waking up with needle marks between my toes, my back, wherever, bruises where I've been beaten. Um, and if God decides you're not going to be able to be killed, they're not going to be able to kill you until the time what he sees fit. Really? Sometimes I'll get sick from this. Sometimes I won't. You're, uh, sa- you're saying that? You're, are you saying that they're coming into your house and injecting you with needles? And then who, who's doing the scratching? Is that is that these uh, grays? Well, that that has happened a number of times, um, and they can get in anyone's house. Mm-hmm. If you have guard dogs, they got sound guns. They can point at them and they'll put them to 